A laboratory centrifuge used to separate solids from a liquid mixture is shown here. It is about 1 foot high and about 1.5 feet in diameter at the top. The centrifuge has a motor inside to which is attached a circular disc with holders for centrifuge tubes. The holders are placed in pairs and opposite to each other. The assembly shown here rotates at high speeds when electricity is passed. The glass tube is the centrifuge tube in which the solution is placed. To balance forces during rotation, an empty tube or one filled with water is usually placed opposite to it. Notice that the solution, which is somewhat unclear, that is turbid, is now added to the tube and placed in the centrifuge holder. The lid is closed and the switch is turned on. The motor rotates at high speeds, causing the particles to be thrown to the bottom of the tube which remains as the farthest point from the center of the disc holder. This is because of the centrifugal forces experienced by particles during rotational motion. After one or two minutes, when you take out the tube, you see that the solid is stuck to the bottom of the tube and the solution can be decanted. 